with an update on the tropics. It's going to be final updates for at least three of these systems. Um, and then there's Kansan. Well, Chanthu. So let's start with Kansan. With a landfall in Vietnam. Well, not a landfall yet. But it's not going to be final update until after landfall. Although it did make landfall on this island here. So technically it did make landfall. Just not where we were thinking it was going to make landfall. But is expected to make landfall in Viet mainland Vietnam between now and 7 p.m. Okay, so it probably has already made landfall. Um, but 35 mile an hour wind, tropical depression. 30 mile an hour wind heading into Laos. 25 mile an hour winds in Laos or past Laos into Thailand. Nope, this would be in Laos. Um, so from there, satellite imagery. And, yep, this thing made landfall. So, from there, let's go to the next system, Shanthu. I'm going to be saying landfall a lot here, just a heads up. But this thing is starting to go to a possible rapid detensification phase, which is warranted. Um, but going down to 120, near the northern tip of Taiwan... 115, 105, 90 with landfalls in China, 70 mile an hour winds, 60, and then 50 mile an hour winds heading for South Korea. So from there, satellite imagery. Again, this thing's like the size of Taiwan, and because of the fact that most of the storms appear to be on the east side, um, Taiwan and China will be largely spared. Although, any islands east of the eye is going to get screwed over um, big time. Actually, that's going to be thumbnail. Good enough. Anyways, now we're on to the final updates for Larry with 70 mile an hour wind Post-tropical cyclone. Um, in fact, it made it this far inland as a hurricane. Well, this far north as a hurricane. 75 mile an hour winds. Probably was a brief tropical storm before it became post-tropical with 70 mile an hour winds. Um, and then 65 mile an hour winds going into Greenland. Now, according to some news reports, this thing is looking to drop upwards of 5 feet of snow in parts of Greenland. So this thing's going to be a horrid blizzard. Yeah, this thing is just so far north, it's not even funny. Um, but the fact it's slowed down. Um, it started, it was clocking at 47, then 48 miles an hour, going down to 29. Which is going to be an issue there, as that would mean it's going to stall compared to what it normally does. Um, but yeah, looking at blizzard conditions for Greenland. Um, so stay safe up there. Um, gonna have to hunker down for sure. Blizzard conditions possible for Iceland, uh, John Mayens, Valbard, all through the north through the North Pole. Um, and then finally post tropical cyclone Olaf. 35 mile an hour winds, and with it being post-tropical, that would be final update. Um, but anyways, weakening to 30, then 25 mile an hour winds, Iran with a 4.4 magnitude earthquake, dropping down to 15 mile per hour winds, which is interesting. That just means this thing is definitely dead. But whatever moisture is left is still causing a little bit of rain for parts of Mexico, Arizona, and California. Which is good, because they need it. Cone, and models. So, from there... Not done yet, because we got this situation. Um, ooh, we got four areas? What? Okay, we got two... That are main events. And we got two other areas with the potential to form. What the heck? We have four systems. Two of them are essentially guaranteed to form. 
And the other two are yet to be determined, but it's a possibility. And then there's one system here that has a very good chance of forming. Um, and nothing for the Hawaii area. So, with that, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.